puts her like whoa. Oh, thing I go, cause she love her. I see, I see, I see. And you're the better now, girl. Yeah, girl, you call me. It's now 7.30 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday. I have a part-time job to do today. Um, so I, I work as a dog trainer as a side hustle on, on Saturdays and weekends. So I'm going to try to vlog um, what I do as a dog trainer, or at least a part-time dog trainer. I'm going to give you a glimpse of how I train, what I do, um, and if, assuming the, the client allows me to film at their home. My first breakfast, then on to my first uh, I'm like frozen more, I'm all the stress and gotta let it go. So getting dating up with that got at the boss. Yeah, we had family dogs, but my very first dog is a Shiba Inu. And I, I mean, I trained dogs since I was, I was young anyway. Yeah, I found it very difficult to train. It was, it was a particularly difficult breed to train. Um, so I learned, I picked out a lot of skills between, and, and yeah, one thing led to another. I have friends asking me for help for training, so I, I lent them a hand. And from there, I got, I got more and more requests for, for, for help. So I started making it to like a psychic actively looking for clients. I'm just doing this as like a fun little side thing. Yeah, I say I work well with dogs. So I think it's quite a simple, fun side game. So they get to get to play with dogs and get to get to work with them. So this is Mochi. The owners uh, were interested in getting her to be more obedient as they will be moving to a condo soon. So they wanted to fix her excessive energy, especially her barking and some nonsense behaviors like climbing up furniture and so on. So we started by working Mochi on, on the leash since her first time. So I included basics of leash control, how to wear a slip lead. I also spoke to them about the overall use of a crate to improve impulse control and understanding permissions. It can also be a place where she rests throughout the day to learn how to calm down instead of being amped up all the time and free, with free roaming and causing trouble all, all around the house. So we did a couple of reps uh, of in and out of the crate calmly with some leash guidance before we moved outside. We went outside to help expand on the leash obedience in understanding to follow the leash pressure so walks can be more comfortable for both uh, Mochi and also the owners. We did a few walking back and forth as a start just to get Mochi understanding the idea of how to, how to follow and getting the owners to understand that they need to lead the way. I recommend that Mochi gets his daily walks to get the mental and physical stimulation it needs to be well behaved. A cooped up dog at home is not a happy dog. This is also an important bonding session between a dog and its owner. So once we've done a little bit of that, we went back inside to continue working on crate thresholds and getting in and out of the crate comfortably with the owners. So I kind of pass on the leash to them for them to work on that. Good. Um, the progress was quite evident. Um, Mochi was quickly understanding what they wanted her to do and pretty much improve on the spot. And it's just about making sure it's consistent as part of a lifestyle moving forward. The last thing that we covered during the training was some hand feeding. And I use this to kind of shape and reward the right movements, behaviors, and engagement. Um, overall, you can, use, you can use this to kind of shape, sit down, the basic obedient movements, but also like going back in the crate, or just overall engaging with the owners as a fun and rewarding activity. And this is one of my most favorite bonding activities, especially for young puppies, or even just in general adult dogs as well. This works both ways. So that was it for today's training. I didn't want to overload uh, Mochi too much with too many things, and also for the owners as well, they wouldn't be able to, to capture that many items in one session. But yeah, hoping to see an improvement in next session with Mochi. So I just completed uh, the first training appointment today. It's a good one. 
little poodle dog. Just some puppy issues as usual. Um, she may be a two year old, but she definitely acts like a puppy. Now I'm gonna head to the gym, just get some workout done. On to my second appointment in the late afternoon. I'm probably gonna get some lunch before that. <laughs> Going for my second appointment now, dog training. It's also training a little poodle. I've been to this one once already, like I think a month back. So it's just another revisit to reinforce the training that I've done. Uh, hopefully there's some progress, let's see. And hopefully I can film something inside. Uh, depends on if the owner lets me. I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, meet little Ari. He's a very excited little puppy, full of energy but doesn't know how to settle down at home. So we'll be working on a few things that will help the owner manage him. The owner just got the crates, so that that will be today's starting point. We are training Ari on impulse control and to think before acting. We work on, a, on some crate door exercises and leaving Ari in there to be calm before allowing him to exit. We did a few more reps of this to start building that muscle memory. This to be a daily exercise for him and also keep him, keeping him in the crate on downtime so he doesn't get a chance to free roam around in an elevated emotional state. We also work on the next progression, which is to stay in place while out of the crate. This will be his next level of freedom, but with a level of obedience. Teaching him to be around his human, but not in a heightened emotional state, and being able to stay on command until release. So we work on going onto the platform, doing a couple of seconds before rewarding, and working towards five second counts, 10 second counts, and eventually hoping to get to minutes, half past, and then hours. Good. Very good. Lastly, we worked on some corrections. Ari has grown accustomed to barking at doorbell, so for a couple of for a couple of times, we rang the doorbell, corrected any barking while in the crate to let him know that barking at doorbells isn't what we want. This will be a work in progress as we develop Ari's obedience and also his understanding of what not to do and what to do. So yeah, that was it for today's Good. training for Ari. <clears throat> hey boss, can I have a chicken shawarma? Big or big? Big, yeah. How many take away? Take away. Okay. So I got dinner, got takeaway instead. I didn't want to sit down, it's too packed in there anyway. I'm quite tired, so I'm gonna go back and you know enjoy my meal myself. So yeah, but thanks for watching all the way. I'm gonna close the vlog right here. Hope you enjoyed this uh, this vlog of, of my day so far. Yeah, and I catch you in next one.